So yeah, in initially the first thing you want to do, you want to say no to any initial configuration. And we go back to our global configuration mode. And I want us to go on F0 slash zero. So I'll say interface F0 slash zero. Now, because this is F0 slash zero, we want to use the same interface for two different um, for two different VLANs. So we have to create what we call the sub interface. So basically we are here, F0 slash zero. This is where we are. But I want to divide it into to some number. I want to create F0 slash zero dot 10. So all I'll have to do is first of all, I'll just do a no shutdown. So no shut. So now the interface is on. The next thing I would want to do is I'll just say, that's all I'll do on F0 slash zero. And I'll say, interface f0 slash 0 dot 10. So if we see here, now it's saying config dash sub if, it's just telling you that you are in the sub interface. So in order for us to assign IP address, you cannot just assign IP address just like we did for the previous one. So assuming I try to assign IP address 192.168 dot maybe 1.100, 255.255.255.0, this is what's going to tell me. It's telling me that it's going to be impossible for me to configure an IP. I need to make sure I tell the router what the sub interface is going to carry, what VLAN is it going to use. So I have to say encapsulation, meaning I want to do VLAN. So I, I will say encapsulation dot one Q. So those who remember, we said when it comes to trunking protocols, we have dot one Q and then we have ISL. So we just have to say dot one Q and then we have to mention the VLAN. This is going to be for VLAN 10. It means that we're telling the device this. We're telling the router that I've created an interface called F0.0.10, but that interface should only carry VLAN 10 information. That's what we've just said by this command, encapsulation.1q. So when you do encapsulation.1q, all you've said is that I want to use this for VLAN 10. If I, if I do 10 here, that's what you mean. 